The front door was opened by Mr. Pelosi. The 82-year-old did not immediately declare an emergency or tried to leave his home, but instead began walking several feet back into the foyer toward the assailant and away from police. This video is brought to you by BirchGold.com. BirchGold.com, ladies and gentlemen, inflation continues to be a plague on our economy and our family and our savings. And the uh, irresponsible spending from the left just continues to exacerbate the problem. Don't be over leveraged in the stock market and don't let your savings wither away. Hedge inflation with gold from Birch Gold. And listen to this. If you text Brandon to 989898 for your information kit on gold, you will get a free gold bar with any purchase by December the 22nd. But you have to claim your offer by Black Friday. Within the last, uh, with almost 20 years of exceptional experience in converting IRAs and 401ks into precious metal IRAs, Birch Gold can help you. Don't allow the left to devalue your savings. Text Brandon to 9898. Claim your free information kit from Birch Gold. Or you can click on the link in the description section. You can own physical gold and silver in a tax sheltered retirement account, and Birch Gold will help you do it. And when you place an order before December or by December the 22nd, Birch Gold will send you a free gold bar. Text Brandon to 989898 or click on the link in the description section. Secure your future with gold. Do it today. Ladies and gentlemen, like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications anytime I go live and make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to this channel, like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, this Pelosi thing is just crazy. I just made a video uh, yesterday that, re that the surveillance, there is surveillance footage. Now, they tried to act like, oh, there's nothing there, nobody said anything. There is surveillance footage. They won't release it to us. They, they won't give anybody access to see it at this point. Now, it could be because it's under investigation, but it's crazy. There's just footage. It, it will, it will, it will, it will, I would argue that it would answer a lot of questions if they allow us to see the footage. And secret, not secret service, but the Capitol Police had a live feed into the security system. And they didn't see a man breaking through the back door? Or did they not want to see him? I don't know. I don't know what the truth is. Now, here's the crazy development. Shout out to ABL because ABL had made this video and I was like, there's no way that's true. There's absolutely no way that this is true. But... Paul Pelosi is the one that answered the door. <laughs> he answered the door and didn't even go out the house. He went back in the house after answering the door to police. Didn't even tell the police something was going wrong. Somebody make this make sense. Nick, roll the clip. When officers arrived here at the Pelosi home exactly a week ago today, they initially didn't have any idea exactly what was going on. They knew they had a high priority call on their hand. What was unclear, what was happening inside the property just behind me. This morning, Paul Pelosi is home, back at the house that became a crime scene a week ago today. NBC News learning new details about the moments police arrived. Sources familiar with what unfolded in the Pelosi residence now revealing when officers responded to the high priority call, they were seemingly unaware they'd been called to the home of the Speaker of the House. After Time out. This is suspicious to me. I'm not saying this is anything wrong. It's just crazy to me. You have to think. They were praising the dispatcher, weren't they? Y'all remember? They were praising the dispatcher. Oh, she did an incredible job. Her instincts. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. The guy's name is Paul Pelosi. <laughs> they live in this, this area of affluent houses. How does the local precinct not know where the Speaker of the House lives? In a house where it's being monitored by Capitol Police. Y'all don't, listen, when I was a police officer, we had a flag note for certain addresses. So if you are headed to an address, a flag will pop up and it'll say, hey, this person is anti-police. Or this person fought with police last time we were there. They have guns in the house. Like, it, it, we have notes for addresses that we show up at. So you're telling me they go, they're going to a priority one call. The, the emergency alarm went off. It said, boop. That means it's a level one, level two call. That means officers need to go code three to this address. It's, it is an emergency. They are en route to this place. It took them two minutes. And the dispatcher didn't know this was Paul Pelosi and Nancy Pelosi's house. And then when the cops get there, they don't know what's going on. There's a man in his house doing what? They're not supposed to be there. 
He don't know the man. The call, the 911 call said he don't even know who this guy is. You got a person in your house who you don't know what it is. How do you not think that's kidnapping? How do you not think that's an intruder? Okay, keep the clip rolling. After a knock and announce, the front door was opened by Mr. Pelosi. The 82-year-old did not immediately declare an emergency or tried to leave his home, but instead began walking several feet back into the foyer toward the assailant and away from police. It's unclear if the 82-year-old was already injured or what his mental state was, say sources. According to court documents, when the officer asked what was going on, defendant smiled and said everything's good. But instantaneously, a struggle ensued as police clearly saw David DePap strike Paul Pelosi in the head with a hammer. After tackling the suspect, officers rushed to Mr. Pelosi, who was lying in a pool of blood. What we do know is he brutally attacked Mr. Pelosi and attempted to kill him. After spending several days in the ICU, Pelosi, who is recovering from a fractured skull and serious injuries to his arm and hand, is now home where Capitol Police remain on alert. Investigators have previously said Pelosi did not know DePap when the 42-year-old broke into his home. Why Pelosi didn't try to flee or tell responding officers he was in distress is unclear. Fear takes over. Fear freezes people. This morning, the 82-year-old, lucky to be alive, after an intruder nearly killed him in his own home. Law enforcement, tell, law enforcement officials tell us the bottom line here is this was a terrifying situation. We still don't know exactly what unfolded between Mr. Pelosi and the suspect for the 30 minutes they were alone inside that house before police arrived. Officials who were investigating this matter would not go into further details about these new details. Craig, back to you. Yeah, one thing's for sure, though. He is lucky to be alive. Miguel Amalgar for us. Miguel, thank you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Let me just say this. I don't think that in any form or fashion that this is something to be take light of. You know, a, a, a public official should not be in fear of people breaking into their houses and killing them for political reasons or whatever this guy's motive was. However, it's I can't get past the suspicion of this stuff. And I'm not saying this to hurt anybody or be any harmful to the narrative, but it's, it's, it's weird to me. I do not for the life of me understand how you are – Third in line to be the president of the United States of America. You're the speaker of the house. You are a congressional uh, person. And you don't have a security system where you lock the doors at night and the alarm goes off if somebody breaks in your house. You don't have that secure. You don't have that security system. Yet the Capitol Police have a live feed into your security. Like, 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 make this make sense. You're sophisticated enough where Capitol Police have a live feed to your security, but you're not sophisticated enough to have an alarm system on your house. I, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. So supposedly they weren't paying attention. The guy's in the house. Pelosi goes to the bathroom, calls the police. He don't stay in the bathroom. He comes out of the bathroom and I don't know what he doing with this guy. Then the police knock on the door. Now, here's some inside information that nobody's talking about. I should have said at the beginning, I heard a little of this information from Glenn Beck. I don't know what documents Glenn Beck is reading. But supposedly the guy came in there and said, hey, where's Nancy? Paul Pelosi says she's gone. He said, well, I'll wait for her. And then Paul Pelosi says she's going to be gone for several days. He said, I'll, I'll continue to wait. And according to what Glenn Beck had said is that when Paul Pelosi called the police, uh, uh, the suspect knew he called the police and he didn't care. He was completely okay with police showing up. And when police showed up, Paul Pelosi answered the door and went back into the house. It wasn't apparent that Paul Pelosi had any significant injuries until cops got there. And he went back in the house and got beat up with a hammer. I don't, I don't understand how much fear you think you have or whatever case may be. When police show up to your door... It's nothing for you to open the door and walk out and say, hey, man, this man is trying to kill me. Immediately, men with guns standing at the door will draw down at this guy at gunpoint. What are you, What happens to make you go back in, in the house and get beat over the head with a hammer? I, I, don't, I don't understand. What, I mean, maybe he had some DVDs of 
Paul Pelosi and them doing something they shouldn't do, and he was blackmailing them and said, "Hey, you better not tell the police. Or I'm gonna get you." I, I I can't I can't fathom what's going on. You guys, let me know. What what do you think about this? Am I tripping, or is this still every time information comes out more suspicious and more crazy? Y'all, let me know in the comment section. Like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you get some burst gold. I'll see you on the next one. I'm out.